thanks for tuning in today. This is going to be my first parenting video and I'm truly excited to be sharing some of my mommy experiences and tips with all of you guys. Now I have three kids. Um, my oldest is my daughter and then I have um, two boys. My oldest is right now five years old, my second is four so they're a year apart and then my little one is just one year old so there's a two year gap between uh, my middle son and my last son. The first topic I wanted to share with you guys is on a topic that I'm sure all of us parents have some struggle with and I'm, I've been struggling for, for years and it is a bedtime routine. As our family grew and um, we started having more kids, our bedtime routine has changed drastically. And I think it was uh, more of a struggle in the last whole year when my third baby came along. Now, in the last year, my kids have dreaded bedtime. We've been through so many nights where there was screaming involved, there was uh, whole tantrums involved, and this isn't just from one child, and it's from all three of them. So we, me and my husband had to come up with a routine that worked for all of us, and um, I'm hoping that this, uh, these tips will help uh, you guys in your bedtime routine. Now all these tips are not written in stone. I'm sure every household is different. Every child's sleeping patterns are different. Um, these are just some tips that I came up with that helped us in our household. Uh, try to incorporate these tips in your existing uh, bedtime routine. My first tip is burning that energy. Now this has gotten easier as my first two kids have been going to full day kindergarten so by the time they come home from school they're already pooped as it is. I actually turn on some music um, and they enjoy this, turn on some music and dance for about half an hour. It's a great channel on YouTube called Cosmic Kids and I'll have the link in the description box below to it and they do a lot of um, children's yoga in a fun way so the kids actually enjoy it. My next tip is probably a really challenging tip but it sort of helps and it's a good meal, a good dinner. Me and my husband have days where it's so challenging to have them eat their food. As long as they have something in their bellies before they go to sleep, I found that they sleep really well. There are times where they don't finish their dinner and um, even if they just eat half of it, we do give them a glass of warm milk. I just find with my kids, when they do eat a full meal or where at least if their bellies are full, I found that they sleep better at night. The next tip is probably one of their favorite tips uh, in the whole bedtime routine process and it's a warm bath or shower. So bath time just aids with relaxing your child before bed bedtime. What also aids uh, in the whole bedtime process is a lot of the products that children use as a body wash or moisturizing lotion have a bedtime version to it. So for example, I use Live Clean and they come up with a bedtime version of their body wash and lotion which has uh, soothing ingredients like um, lavender or chamomile, jasmine, a lot of the ingredients that sort of relaxes and soothes uh, the child. My fourth tip is just something to get your kids ready for bed and this can be a book, this can be uh, some music, soothing music, this can be just maybe some quiet time. What I do do every night to my two oldest is I do sing to them before they go to bed and this helps them a lot. I, they, It's rare that they go to bed without me singing to them and when I do sing to them they do fall asleep. My husband and I always try to 
do a whole tuck in and goodnight kiss time for them. So either he's doing it or I'm doing it, where we tuck them in, give them a kiss, and uh, they know, okay, it's time to go to bed. I found that with my kids, whenever they, before they go to bed, they're always looking forward to that book or that song. And uh, it just gets them prepared and they know, okay, it's bedtime. My last tip in this whole bedtime routine process is consistency. You need to have some sort of consistency when you're applying any routine or any sort of rules in the household. Not every night's going to be the same. Uh, there are going to be nights, I, like I said, that you know, some, some of them don't want to go to bed. Yeah! Either they don't want to go to bed or they're not feeling well. But I'm hoping that some of these tips will help you guys out uh, in your whole bedtime routine process. If you guys found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what your bedtime routine is. Um, you know what? This is a parenting video, so maybe some of your tips might help other parents out as well, or might help me out. Um, so leave comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more product reviews, mommy tips, challenges, challenges. Follow me on all my social networks, Instagram and Twitter at Chai with Mom, my blog ChaiWithMom.com, and also I'm on Pinterest, Tumblr, and Google Plus. All those links will be below. Especially Pinterest, I'm finding a lot of great pins that I can pin up on my board, so do uh, check that out. Hope to see you guys soon in my next video and uh, take care. Bye!